what, everyone? It is Friday, November 23rd, in the year of our 2012. How are you doing out there? I am doing awesome as always. Wicked awesome. It's Black Friday. You know what I feel about Black Friday? That's how I feel about it. Forget about it. I'd rather have beer, because beer is good for you. Folks, let's get today's unofficial sponsor of the show, my good friends over at Lucy's Big Burgers. Phenomenal burgers by phenomenal people over down here at Yeehaw, Texas, where men and men and the bulls run scared. And uh, they make all kinds of good burgers, folks. They've even got a contest going on right now where you can design your own burger. Facebook.com slash Lucy's Big Burger. Check it out, folks. Look for this. I'm telling you. 1801, 1881 North Treadway, down here in Yeehaw, Texas. All right, let's get to the beer of the day. Why not? Oh, baby. Shot Top Pumpkin Wheat. This stuff is awesome. I'm telling you right now, and I'm bringing it out again. 5.2%, nice, good, average strength beer. Brewed with a Belgian-style wheat ale, brewed with ripe pumpkins, nutmeg, cinnamon, and cloves. Folks... Remember my uh, Harpoon Winter Warmer, brewed with cinnamon and nutmeg. This stuff is a lot like it, except it's got cloves in it and pumpkin, and it's very smooth. This stuff's one of the best beers I've ever had. Now we're beer opening up, right? Got ourselves a good little pop from my good friend Justin Zimmett, the executive producer of the show, and the creator of the uh, Beer and Song of the Day Facebook page, which you all need to check out and like it, please. Spread the word! 45 degree angle right into the b proper beer consumption apparatus. There we go. Ah. Cheers and beers to all you processes that say in Germany, Kompai, as they say in Japan. Ah. Wow. Beer is good for you. I love that stuff. Good Lord, let's get to the birthday shout-out, shall we? Before I do that, I just want to say, Yes, the Patriots destroyed the Jets 49-19 last night. If that ain't awesome, I don't know what is. And the Lions should have won. That was some real bullshit, man. And the Cowboys lost. No surprise there. Hey, if the Cowboys are ever going to win a Super Bowl, this is how you have to do it. you got to play it on the Xbox or PS3 or something. That's the only way, okay? But anyway, let's get to the uh, birthday shout-out, shall we? Right off the bat, my good man Adam Davies. Happy birthday to you. This is a guy I've yet to meet in person, but he's a great man. And we're fellow mafiosos on the old Mafia Wars on the old Facebook. We love it. We love playing it. Nothing like whacking the shit out of people without really doing it. Hey, it's a good way to get out pent-up aggression. That game's awesome. So, folks, check it out. Mafia Wars, the old Facebook. And look for the love, Doctor, because that's me on Facebook. All right. Next on the list. Here's a great young man that I've known... His entire life. Yep, I'm talking about my good man, Anton Diaz. Di Diaz? Diaz? Diaz. And Anton. This guy, I remember him when he was itty bitty. And he's a great guy. He's grown up to a great young man. Anton, happy birthday to you, my friend. I hope you're doing well. You know I'm doing well. Always doing well. And uh, love to hear from you. Hope you watch the show. I hope you still remember me. I'm sure you do. You wouldn't add me on Facebook a year or two ago if you didn't remember me. But, uh, dude, a big cheers and beers to you, my friend. And you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Next on the list is a great man I worked with here in Yeehaw, Texas, otherwise known as Southern Oklahoma. And I'm talking about Derek Black. This guy, Das Dude. Happy birthday to you, brother. Hope you're doing well. And that was my daughter. She's busy playing with her friend, Michaela. But Derek, my friend, love playing in the old song pop. Lots of fun, brother. And uh, challenges waiting on you once again. But dude, hope you have a wicked awesome birthday. Party hard and enjoy. Celebrate like it's 1969. Minus the acid. Yup. Squeeze me. All right. Next on the list. Here's a great leader of men and women that I've known for a while. My man, Jim Frisky. A positively motivated man. And, uh, dude, happy birthday to you. It's a pleasure and honor to work with you in jolly old England. Missed the hell out of you. A great man indeed. And, uh, congratulations a few months back on that recent job promotion you got. I'm very proud of you. Couldn't happen to a much better guy, I'm telling you. But, Jim, 
Dude, a big cheers and beers to you. And hope life's treating you well. Hope you enjoy this here show. And you, my friend, have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Next on the list. Here's a great man that shapes metal for a living. Sheet metal. My man, Travis Rowland. Happy birthday to you, brother. Hope you're doing well. Happy milestone birthday to you. Quarter of a century old. Hey, that's the perfect age. 25, baby. Man alive. Because your insurance goes down. You can rent a car. And, oh, you're not old yet. And you can still buy alcohol and adult beverages like, mmm, beer. But, Travis, I know, I guess you're living in uh, Arizona, otherwise known as uh, Western New Mexico. And I know you worked with our executive producer and very good friend, Justin Dimmitt. And, dude, I just want to say, happy MF birthday to you, brother. And I hope you have a wicked awesome day. Party hard and enjoy. And uh, thank you for watching this here show each and every day. The beer and song of the day. This one's for you, bro. Cheers and beers to you. Ah. Next on the list. A great man that I worked with in jolly old Japan. Steve Medina. Happy birthday to you, brother. I do believe it was Japan I worked with you, right? Yeah. Um, but Steve, I haven't heard from you in a while. And uh, I hope you're doing well. Drop me a line. Let me know. Hey, what's up, Dr. B? How you doing? Well, Steve, you're still younger than me. You always will be. You ain't getting old yet. But uh, I just want to say happy birthday to you. Hope you celebrate it well. And I uh, hope you enjoy this here show. And you have a marvelous day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Next birthday and the final birthday for the day, my man Kent Riley. Now, he didn't even need to have his Facebook announcement for his birthday. Because I've memorized his birthday for over 25 years. I Kent worked with my brother at the uh, Martha's Vineyard Bicycle Rental place. Yep. I don't even remember what the name of the place was. Bicycle Rental Shop. See, we're from Martha's Vineyard Island. And, uh, you know, during the summer, you rent bicycles. And believe me, you make a lot of money off it, too. No doubt about that. Summer's crazy on the vineyard. You guys should get around on a bicycle faster than driving. It's that bad for traffic sometimes. But Kent, my man, hope you're doing well and a big happy birthday to you. You knew I would never forget your birthday. Come on now. You should know me by now. I'm a walking encyclopedia. I got an IQ of 158. Number spelling and useless trivia. That's my forte. And Kent's an originally an Arkansas guy, otherwise known as Northern Louisiana. And living on the great island of Martha's Vineyard. And uh, Kent, brother, you have a wicked awesome day, man. Celebrate well and enjoy. I'll celebrate with you. Cheers and beers to you. How about some additional shout-outs? I haven't given this man a shout-out in a long time. My man, John Hurt. This guy is from Southern Arkansas, otherwise known as Louisiana. And John, brother, living in North Carolina now. A pleasure and honor to work with you in jolly old England. Folks, he serves and protects. He's a cop. And he's an awesome, awesome guy. I remember having him over for Thanksgiving dinner last year. And uh, Big John, let me tell you, bro. Wasn't the same without you this year. It wasn't. I was thinking about, you know, I was thinking about the folks that had come over for Thanksgiving. I remember that. We had Nikki. We had you. We had Larissa. Jeff. Ryan. You know, you guys were the ones that had come over for dinner. In fact, some of you came over twice. And I remember you, John, trying to outdrink my wife. Ha ha ha! You guys got schnockered. That was great. That was a great night. But, John, I just want to say cheers and beers to you. Give you a shout out on the uh, beer and song of the day. And I hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well. Just celebrate every day. That's what I do each and every day. The day ends in a while. It's a good day. And enjoy, bro. Enjoy. Have a beer ski. That's what I'm doing right now. Next on the list. Now, I met this lady through my friend John last night. All started with a poke on the old Facebook. Then we got into a nice long conversation. She's a bikini model in the Philippines. She's from Oklahoma, otherwise known as Northern Texas. And she's stunningly gorgeous. And I'm talking about you, Ember Blair. And I just want to give you a shout and say, What's up, girl? How you doing, huh? This is the show I was telling you about. But I uh, hope you're doing well in your endeavors. And, uh... Hey, if you need any help promoting your site or whatever, 
I will hook you up. That's what I do. I'm all about helping people. You help me, I help you. That's, that's business and personal. That's the way I look at it. Amber, I'm giving you a big cheers and beers. And damn, you're freaking gorgeous. I'm going to tell you that right now. Stunningly gorgeous and beautiful and a total sweetheart. Something about the Oklahoma women. I don't know. Crazy. The yippers. And the final shout out of the day goes to my good friend Michelle Doyle. An absolute sweetheart of a lady that I work with here in Yeehaw, Texas. Oh, yes. Now, Michelle gave an idea for this here show. And uh, it's amazing. She's like, why don't you design some t-shirts for your show? Well, holy shit, Michelle. That is absolute genius. I think it's a great idea. Folks, I want your input below. What do you think? T-shirts for the beer and song of the day to represent proudly? Why not? I say we go for it. You know, my good friend Wally Fortier, he's working on a design for the uh, beer and song of the day. A logo, if you will. <clears throat> Squeeze me. And see what we could do is put that logo on the shirt. And represent the Love Doctors beer and song of the day. Because I have a lot of fun doing this here show. And I know there's a lot of you out there that watch the show each and every day and support it. You support like a double D bra. Underwire. Baby, that support. Wow. But Michelle, total sweetheart. A great lady. Always smiling. And uh, I want to give you a shout out. I know you're, you're, you're a definite loyal viewer of this here show. And a big, big, big cheers and beers to you. And I uh, hope you enjoy the show. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. And avoid Black Friday like the bubonic plague. Folks, haven't you heard of Black Death? Yeah, Black Death, Black Friday. And kind of goes hand in hand, doesn't it? Greed kills. Well, there's our shout outs for today. How about some birthdays? She's 52 today. Robin Roberts. Who's she, Reverend Dr. B? Well, simple. Lovely, um,. African American female reporter on uh, ESPN, and she's also um, on Good Morning America, if I'm not mistaken. She's 52. Hey, milestone birthday for this fruitcake, Miley Cyrus. She's 20 years old today. Yep, she's legal still, and uh, she was getting naked or in her undies at the age of like 14, 15. She's the exact example of how I do not want my daughter to be. Ugh. Daughter of Billy Ray Cyrus with that shitty ass song, Achy Breaky Heart. Ugh. Every time I hear that, I just want to play it backwards to get all my shit back. But uh, Miley Cyrus, 20 years old today. How about that? Now, here's a girl that a lot of people can't stand, but for some reason, I don't even know why. I think she's beautiful. How about she's 25? Man alive, milestone birthday for her. Check it out, Travis Rowland. You're going to love this. You were born the exact same month, day, and year as Nicole Snooky Polizzi. How about that? Yep, that little four foot nine inch uh, shorty on Jersey Shore. How about that? You were born the same exact day as Snooky. Ha <laughs> ha! There you go. But seriously, I, I think Snooky's pretty. I do. And a lot of people think she's gross. I don't know. You know, there's also people that like them and bone-thin anorexic chicks, and I think that's gross. Ugh. Hey, to each their own, everybody should like things differently. Thank God we're all different and have the freedom to be different, okay? If we all liked the same thing, life would be wicked boring. I'm telling you right now, it would be boring as shit. But Nicole Snooky Palizzi is 25. How about them apples? Hey, this guy didn't even make it to 25. He would be 153 today. The late, great Billy the Kid, who was shot by Sheriff Pat Garrett in 1881, died at the age of 21. Today is his birthday, or it would be. It's not your birthday, Billy the Kid. Rock on with your bad self. How about this guy? Born in 1804 on this day, Franklin Pierce. Most of you probably don't even know who he is. The 14th President of the United States of America. Come on, man. Vermont. Served from 1853 to 1857. He passed away in 1869 at the age of 64. So there you go. Vermont's only president. Franklin Pierce, the 14th. President of the United States of America. On his day in 1888, Harpo Marx was born. Passed away in 1964 at the age of 75. 76 years old. 
Um, Harpo Marks, remember the Marks Brothers? I know I do. Groucho Chico, Harpo, Zemo, and Gummo. Yeah, Gummo wasn't even barely on there, but... Um, Harpo Marks was the silent one. They always just smiled, you know. He's just silent. Never spoke. Ever. If I'm not mistaken. How about this guy? The, a legend indeed. Born on this day in 1887. Passed away in 1969. He was born 100 years to the day before. My man, Travis Rowland. And also, the lovely Snooky. And that would be one... Boris Karloff. Now this guy, famous in horror movies, most notable for the 1931 classic Frankenstein. Yep, he played the monster Frankenstein. And he was in a lot of those 60s beach bimbo movies, Frankie Avalon, that Funicello movies. You know, he was in those movies. Um, He actually was the voice of the Grinch in Jeremiah Wood, Mr. Grinch. Now he did not sing the song, that was one um, Thurl, uh, oh God, I forgot his name, Thurl, Thurl Ravenscroft, that's right. The voice of uh, Frosted Flakes, um, Tony the Tiger, that's right. But um, Boris Karloff was the voice of the Grinch in the 1966 classic How the Grinch Stole Christmas. So there you go. And also, on this day in 1932, he's 30 today, Asafa Powell. A badass Jamaican sprinter, man. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. This guy's 87 today. Johnny Mandel. Born on this day in 1925. He's the composer, a famous composer of a lot of popular music, including the MASH theme. That's right, the theme from MASH. He composed that one. 87 today. This guy was born on this day in 1914. Sadly, he passed away in 1980 at the age of 65, 66 years old. And that would be one Emmett Ashford the very first African-American umpire in the major leagues. And finally on this day in 1940, Louis Tiante. El Tiante was born. Red Sox, legendary pitcher from 1971 to 1978. The guy was awesome. Absolutely awesome. Cuban, badass. Still living in Massachusetts to this day. Still active with the Red Sox organization. With that said, how about this? On the day that Miley Cyrus was born, November 23, 1992, the 10 millionth cell phone was sold. Wow, think of how many there are out there nowadays. Probably billions. On a day in 1960, Hollywood's Walk of Fame was dedicated. On a day in 1945, the wartime rationing of food ended. Can you imagine America trying to come together for rationing and stuff like that? Think about what America did in World War II. The sacrifices that each and every one of us made. Do you think we as Americans would do that nowadays? I highly doubt it. Think about it. Maybe, maybe that'll make you think. You know, people were so giving to each other. They looked out for each other back in those days. Man, I wish. Just send my ass back to 1956 where I belong. Oh, On this day in 1936, Life Magazine officially hit the newsstands. First time ever. Yep, the only. Life Magazine famous for many, 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 many years. And uh, sadly, no longer around. Ah, here's a legendary date for all you mass holes like this guy. We love this guy. Flutie Flakes. November 23rd, 1984, we all know the most famous Hail Mary pass ever thrown. As Doug Flutie had 472 yards of passing that day, it was a 48-yard Hail Mary touchdown pass to beat the Miami Hurricanes. 47-45, to Boston College Eagles, baby. Hell yeah! That is a legendary Hail Mary, I like to call it Hail Mama. Hail Mary indeed, November 23rd, 1984, the very month, day, and year that my man Derek Black was born. Think about it, Derek. You're tied in with history, baby. Honest day in 1963, and I remember watching this show for a lot of years on PBS, WGBH-TV, Channel 2 in Boston, but uh, it actually debuted originally in England. We all know it's an English show. Doctor Who debuted in England 49 years ago today, and it's still going strong, by the way. How about that? On this day in 1906, this is no surprise, Joseph Smith convicted of polygamy. Yes, the founder of the Mormon faith. And I have nothing against any religion out there, so don't go getting excited. Hey, my philosophy about polygamy, this is what it is. If the women are willing to share a husband with other wives, then leave it alone. Hell with it. Let them do what they want to do. If they're all happy, forget about it. I myself... I would never do something like that. <laughs> One woman's enough anyway, believe me. But to each their own, okay? So leave it alone. 
if people want to have multiple wives, let them do it. Hey, women want to have multiple husbands and husbands are okay with it, then let them do it. Forget about it. Stop being so damn judgmental. Ugh. On this day in 1899, the first jukebox ever was unveiled at the Palais Royal Hotel in San Francisco, California. wonder what kind of music they had. And on this day in 1897, this is a huge invention. The pencil sharpener was patented by J.L. Love. What a great last name. Love. Woo! Oh, yes. All right. Let's get to the movie of the day. Folks, it is time to bring on the holiday spirit, the Christmas spirit. I'm all about Christmas, folks. I will never take the Christ out of Christmas, but they each their own. My, my personal opinion, if you don't believe in Christ, you probably shouldn't celebrate Christmas. That's just my philosophy. But hey, to each their own. Who am I to judge? I'm not the judge. But just, I like to voice my own opinion sometimes. And uh, everybody has the right to express their own opinion, whether or not we agree with it or not. Thank God we're all different. What better than to bring out Chevy Chase's ever-famous Christmas Vacation, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation from 1989. <coughs> An absolute classic. I've always felt that the Macy's Day Thanksgiving Parade on Thanksgiving Day, duh, brings out the Christmas spirit because you always have that last float, and that is Santa Claus to bring in, officially bring in the Christmas spirit. Folks, Christmas should not be brought up prior to then. That's just my opinion. Christmas spirit comes after Thanksgiving, okay? So we're bringing out the Christmas spirit. Ho, 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 ha, ha, ha. And why not bring it out with... Uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, an absolute classic, which I was watching and enjoying because I'll be damned if I'm going to be sucked into Black Friday. <clears throat> but anyway, I've always wanted to do this. 25,000 lights on the roof. Uh, 250 strands, 100 bulbs apiece. Folks, we all know how much of a classic this is. If you've never seen this movie before, I want to know. Because I'm going to give you some shit. I, if you've never seen this movie... You are sadly detached from society. This movie is an absolute classic. Chevy Chase, <coughs> Beverly D'Angelo, Randy Quaid, Julia Lewis Dreyfus, who was really hot back then. That was before the Seinfeld days. Juliette Lewis, 16 years old at the time. She's six days older than me. And I had an absolute crush on her. God, she was gorgeous in that movie as Audrey. William Hickey, a whole bunch of great actors. Reginald Vell Johnson, before Family Matters, he was in the movie at the end. This movie is an absolute riot, folks. You gotta watch it. I don't need to say anything further. Alright? With that said, let's get to the babe of the day and the song of the day. The song of the day, I like to bring out some non-traditional type of music. Y'all know that. And what better than to bring out the holiday tradition right Christmas, New Year's, baby. And this is a great Christmas song that most of you have probably never heard before. And I understand, but I am here to entertain and inform on the beer and song of the day. So we're bringing out Dig That Crazy Santa Claus. This is an unissued take one from 1954 by the great Oscar McLawley and his Honey Jumpers. Rhythm and Blues Christmas style at its finest. This song absolutely rocks. Here you go. You're going to be blown away by this one. You ain't ever heard this one, have you? I want to know if anybody out there has ever heard this show, ever heard this song before. If you heard this song, I want to know. Jingle jangle indeed. Jingle jangle juggle. Yes, sir. Nicole Snooky Polizzi. I'm sorry. I think she's cute. I do. And she's not skinny. She's got a little bit of meat on her. Good. Some people think she's ugly. I think the difference. She's not into the, sh not in the midgets, okay, but I like that. Hurry. The late, great Oscar McLawley lived to be 84, passed away four years ago in 2008, born in 1924. And you gotta have a good sax break, baby. Don't like a little bit of good uh, instrumental break. Yes. 
episode on WWE Raw. I wish I had seen that. How do we smile? So she's 4 foot 9. What's she weigh? About 130 maybe? I don't know. 120, 130. A little thick. And I don't mind that. You can be big and be beautiful. I'm telling you that right now, folks. But there's no cure for ugliness unless you got a shitload of money. I'm sorry, I think she's cute. I do. When Snoopy starts to blow, go, go. <laughs> blow me a kiss. Another instrumental break. Hell, why not? Look at them jugs. Yowza. Jingle jangle jugs. Ah, deuces, yo. There you go. Folks, you know what time it is, right? Damn right, Reverend Dr. B. Folks, it's time to make a fetus and head out so everybody take care of a wicked awesome night and day. Peace be the journey. And don't do anything I wouldn't do. Don't drink and drive. my spray you drink. Or you might kill yourself or somebody else. And drink and drive is dumber than being a Yankees fan. And what's dumber than that is rooting for douchebag cocksuckers like Eli Manning. Eli, oh. I'm as good as Tom Brady. Manning or men slapping women. And racism. There's another one that's just stupid. All right. So, there you go. And don't forget, Eli Payton and their dad, Archie Manning, combined. Three Super Bowl rings. Tom Brady by himself. Three Super Bowl rings. He's as good as the whole Manning family. Folks, I'm out of here. See you all tomorrow. Talk to you later. Have a wicked awesome night and day. And avoid Black Friday. Because Black Friday deserves a big GFY. I'm out. See y'all tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.